A question of character. Planet Gradius is under attack from the Bacterians, amoeboid beings emerging from the subspace star cluster of Bacterian, attacking with the Bacterian superfortress Xeris. Only one ship can stop their iniquitous assault to save the entire race of the Earth-like planet Gradius. The Warp Rattle, no. the Big Viper. Histiography of Planet Gradius is spotty at best. Model BP-4 Five, six, x Prototype Space Fighter. No time for testing. Time to fight! Blast them. Vizarch Laser Power. Modeled after weaponry for the Stardox Mark I TX prototype. Those versions of Space Fighters failed. But the Gradusians finally got it right. The Vic Viper's barrel unleashes lethal laser pulses right inside their cockpits. Death! Shoot your bulbous shapes. Deadly to enemies with low protection. Disruptive to enemies with high protection. Intimidating to protection devices set on medium. The beam can be lasered. Bluish beamed blasts of brutality ripping through the non-air of space, but especially through organic amoeboid strands of the bacteria. The Vic Viper destroys your feeble double helix. No ground vehicle can escape the Vic Viper's awesome air-to-surface missiles traveling until completing their mission to destroy Mission complete! No aerial vehicle can escape double Vizar class, nor the inverted space volcano. Erupt at your mightiest! The Vic Viper won't be harmed. The Vic Viper has speed. Using the fantastic Leak engine, developed by the Leak people, achieving 3.4 times maximum thrust output because of the Leak power interference zone, allowing the Vic Viper to operate like no other craft, or at least human craft. Stopping on a dime, then immediately climbing, or immediately descending, or immediately reversing, or immediately advancing, or immediately reversing again. The average pilot would experience every color of out, from black to red to gray. But the Vic Viper is out Proof, able to withstand 400 Gs, allowing the pilot to survive through a G eater, effectively eliminating harmful Gs from the G absorbing element named Freddy, creating a small field of safety for the pilot. Groundbreaking! Finally, the Vic Viper can create a field of forced protection. The force field barrier, protecting the Vic Viper from attack, even from the Xeris Big Core fighter. The Vic Viper receives its upgradable components from the enemy. Powered capsules. The Gradius people have no time to preload armament. It must be stolen. The Vic Viper pilot then decides which component to upgrade. But the Vic Viper does not make this task easy. The Vic Viper pilot must collect enough capsules until reaching the appropriate power meter system option. And not necessarily the option. Because the option only provides an option. Not not an option. Option. Glowing protection ordinance. Mimicking the Vic Viper's weapon systems. If the Vic Viper has lasers. The option has lasers. If the Vic Viper has dual cannons and missiles. The option has dual cannons and missiles. And if the Vic Viper explodes. They have nothing. Therefore, the Vic Viper must survive to protect its battle children. And the task is near impossible. One ship fighting the gross grotesque and wrathful Moai race. Asteroid belts and antennoids. Thankfully, the Vic Viper pilot has keen awareness, able to effectively slow time to deftly maneuver through projectiles and brain arms. While never being touched, the Vic Viper must prevail and reach the Xeris Super Fortress because the Gradius people have only one hope, this ship. And hopefully they have convinced the Bacterians to believe otherwise. Power. X Select. The Vic Viper is a flying ship for battle, seeking to fight a battleship. And with its option energy slaves, the Vic Viper becomes a fleet within itself. Defense. Moderate. The Vic Viper's chassis is made for flight and not for war. But it can be configured for war with an energy barrier.
barrier. Otherwise, the Vic Viper should never go into war. Agility. Excellent. The Vic Viper is fast. Really fast. Uncontrollably fast. At a speed that would generally be vomit inducing. Thankfully, the Vic Viper's G Eater setup removes the need for vomit. Grade B. Unlike the Coop 2 Starfighter, the Vic Viper is useful in its production. And the Bacterian's reckless confidence will be their downfall, as well as their defensive measures showing their weaknesses. And although the Bacterians are using their brains, they are not using their brains because they have forgotten one crucial element. Big things come in small packages. That's it. That's my ending statement. Big things come in small packages. Big the next episode. Can you dig it? Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. Oh, character. character.